What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with an absolute banger of a team that features one of my favorite starters of all time, Feralgator. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Huge shout out to everybody who is a subscriber to the Jeans channel. It really does go a long way. Again, huge shout out to you guys. But like I said, today we're rocking out with Feralgator. Feralgator is definitely one of my favorite starters. Really cool Pokemon. Reminding me or getting me hype of Gen 9 for Fue Coco because Fue Coco kind of reminds me of Feralgator and Totodile. So really get me hyped for gen 9 but let's get started here with the team preview start off with feralgator in our top spot he's got the life orb and he can set up with swords dance we got swords dance on him you can also give him dragon dance but i just like swords dance to get that nice little attack boost in him that double attack boost i should say so feralgator is going to be here getting some big damage off killing some pokemon left and right cannot wait to use him yet again in bd P. Next Pokemon is going to be our Raichu. Raichu is great at speed control and flinches in turn one. It's got fake out. It's got nuzzle for paralyzed. It can also full switch out and we're rocking brick break on him as well. We have to focus Sash on our item as our item and last but not least the ability is what makes this Pokemon really really strong. It's got lightning mode. So any Pokemon on the field on our team cannot get hit by lightning moves when Raichu's on the field. So it's going to be able to pair well with Feralgator if we think they're going to go into an electric Pokemon or an electric move. We can bring out Raichu seal turn and actually keep our Feralgator alive a little bit longer so really do like Raichu you guys are going to be seeing him a lot considering you know he's speed control and he's fake out all day third Pokemon on squad is going to be Togekiss you cannot go wrong with Togekiss really really good in every single situations we've been using Togekiss a lot in a lot of different teams it just works out so well we got the scope lens alongside with the super luck ability to make its critical hit ratio go through the roof and then we're rocking out with a fairly normal move set of dazzle gleam air slash protect and follow me Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be another Pokemon just like Raichu. Gives us a little bit of speed control, but this Pokemon also hits like an absolute truck. That is going to be Latios with the Soul Dew. And if you guys do not know what the Soul Dew does, it is an item that only Latios or Latios can hold that boosts Psychic and Dragon type moves. So we got Psychic, Dragon Pulse, Tailwind, and Protect for this thing's moveset. All damage moves are going to be boosted due to the item, and then we can also get speed control with the Tailwind. Cannot wait to use that Pokemon and just show off the absolute power of this guy because, like I said, he has Tailwind for speed control and then he can also hit like a truck with his moves and its item. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Heatran. I absolutely love Heatran. You definitely need a Steel type Pokemon, in my opinion. You need a Steel type Pokemon in BDSP format because they're just so strong and they just work out in a lot of different situations. So we usually use Scissor, but I want a little bit of fire coverage on our team. So I went with Heatran today. We got the Shuka Berry, so you know ground moves don't take us out in one hit. Then we're rocking out with Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Protect, and Taunt for our fourth and final move. You know, Taunt can come up clutch in so many different situations. So I usually like to have one Pokemon that's Rocket Taunt on every single Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be a great special attacker. That is going to be Rotombo, the grass and electric type with a great move set of Thunderbolt. I think Leaf Storm, Nasty Pot setup and Protect. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then we got Citrus Berry as our item to, to give us some more HP when we fall below half. Guys, if you want to check out this team to its fullest potential, I got you guys with that Poke Base down in the description below. But let's get after it, yo. Let's hop into, into that Coliseum and look to get some wins with this Life Orb Sheer Force for Alligator team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video, locking in our amazing Frog Gear team, and let's see who we're rocking up against. Let's see what kind of team we're going up against. Hopefully, it's like a cool off-meta team, and ouch, 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 ouch. This dude is rocking two restricted mods with Kai Ogre and Dialga. Then he also has the Hariyama, the Lucario, the Torkoal, and the Venusaur. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? What should I do here? What should Jeans do here? I am kind of liking Latios as a nice little lead. If he wants to go fake out, he can. I'm thinking of leading the Rotom alongside with it. Just in case he wants to lead that Kyogre, we can get after that Pokemon with maybe like a big old Leaf Storm and just get rolling out from there. So I really do like those leads. I'm going to bring Feralgator because if I had to guess, he's definitely rocking out with Kyogre at some point and getting rain for us. And we kind of just roll out from there. And last but not least, Heatran? Heatran, it's eh. I don't know if we should go Heatran. He trans like he trans good if he doesn't bring Kyogre, but then if he does bring Kyogre, it's kind of tough. What should I do? What should I do? I might just bring Heatran and back in because that can that can get some damage off onto the Kyogre, onto uh, the Lucario, onto the Venusaur, everything except for pretty much the Kyogre, right? But I'm liking Heatran, but Tokus kind of call my name, but then he has Lucario and Dialga in the back end. Don't really like that. I said we lock in Heatran. Heatran works a lot better than Togekiss, so let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Look to grab ourselves a win. Up against two restricted mods. You know, Jeans is trying to come crazy. Hariyama and Kai Ogre do get the lead. That is scary. That is scary. So it could fake me out. He does have fake out. He could probably fake out and water spout. That could definitely be a play all day. 
And I think in this case, we can uh, double protect here. I do think we might have to double protect. I'm liking to double protect here because, you know, I don't really know who he's going to fake out. Probably more so my Rotom. But I just don't want any of these guys to actually eat up a water spout. So we're going to protect the fake out turn and we're just going to roll off from here. We're going to protect and we'll see what he does from here. Protect comes out here. Protect comes out from my Rotom. Let's see. Fake out in the water spout. I had to guess, right? If there's fake out, block. I mean, a big old block. Water spout. I had to guess, right? You can use water spout. Okay. So now we're sitting here where Kyogre is the fastest. Actually, Latios does outspeed everybody. I could go for Tailwind and go into like a Thunderbolt or a Leaf Storm, which could be really good, but I'm kind of predicting the Protect onto the Kyogre slot. And I'm thinking of just Psychicking down into the slot and maybe just setting up a Nasty Plot. I'm kind of liking that. I'm predicting the Protect onto the Kyogre right here. All day, right? All day. Gotta protect that Protect. He's gotta be protecting him, right? Oh my god. Oh, jeans, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Jeans with the reeds. Psychic's gonna come in hot. Can we KO? This should be able to KO, right? Super effective stab. Soul do. Get him out of here, yo. What a turn by us. And on top of all that, let's not forget my Rotom Mo is setting up a lovely nasty plot. Gotta love it. So we get rid of that Hariyama. Hariyama is definitely scary because, you know, it has knockoff and has close combat. It triggered the guts. Tough Pokemon to deal with. Tough Pokemon to deal with, but we got rid of it. We got rid of it with that amazing read. Now we can set up a Tailwind. We can go into Speed Control. We can roll off the here. Okay. Ooh, is Lucario Rock and Fake Out? That's a tough question. Is it Rock and Fake Out? It might. In this case, I'm just going to go into a Tailwind. I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Let's do it. Is it Rock and Fake Out? Maybe I should just protect my, uh, my Mel. I think... Doesn't Lucario learn Fake Out? Final Gambit. Oh, no. You serious? Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Final Gambit. Just takes out my, my Nasty Pot Mo. Okay. I'm cool with that, considering we still have two Pokemon in the back end, and we're setting up a Tailwind. So let's just see if this Kyogre can actually take out my, uh, my Latios here. We do have Heat Train in the back, which I don't like. Can you actually eat this? You can, yo. I love you, Latios. I love you, Latios. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. Okay, we gotta go into Frogator in this point. As you know, it's raining. And we'll rather wait out these rain turns to try to get the Heatran. But who's his final Pokemon? The Alga, maybe? Oh, that could be tough news. That'd be real tough news. Who's it gonna be? It is gonna be the Alga. We don't like that one bit. Not one bit! We don't like that one bit. We might just have to rock into Ice Moves. But from here, I might double down to this Kyogre slot. I might double down to this Kyogre slot. Psychic or Dragon Pulse? Uh, we're gonna go for the Psychic here. I'm gonna double down into you. You know, they're both not very effective. I think Waterfall's definitely apply. Because, you know, we got Rain, it's Stab on top of that. Kyogre, oh my lord! This thing protects. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit! Hopefully this Dialga misses so we can just do that again. But this one's going to be really, really close. I'm terrified. I am terrified. Trick room. Ouch. Tough news all day. Tough news all day. Uh, ch ch protect you... Waterfall you. Let's see how much damage we're going to do. Wow, dude. We're going to lose to a bunch of restricted mods. This game stinks. This game stinks. Especially for Battle Number 1. We lose to restricted mods. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Earth Power comes in hot. We eat that up all day. What's he going for? Another Water Spout, if I had to guess? Ooh, Water Spout. Ooh. <laughs> you go for Water Spout. Can you eat that up for Alligator? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. We cannot eat that up. We cannot eat that up. Bum, bum, bum. I hate this game. I hate this game. All right, we could go into Heat Tramp, but it's pretty much over, right? It's pretty much over. I'm trying to think of like a way we can win this one, but it's all right if we lose this one. You know, like, this guy has huge restricted mods to beat me. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, but he's going to outspeed all day. I'm just going to go into this. Uh, Heat Wave, I guess, could come in here. Or, yeah, Heat Wave's going to have to come in here. Frogator's just going to dump on us with a, with a Water Spout. Yeah, use Earth Power, and we have Shukaberry. We do indeed have the lovely little Shukaberry, which allows us to eat that up, which is beautiful. That's exactly why we rock out with it. And I think uh, Heatran could go first. No, we do not. We have Tailwind now. Water Spouts can come in here. What else could I do, guys? What else could I do? It's okay. It's okay. We got two more battles to uh, prevail winning record. I'm promising you guys we're winning the next two battles. We're going to win those next two battles all day long. 
I'm in the blue side, which means I get to make the rules for battle number two. And you guys know we're putting at four and special Pokemon, they're not allowed. We're not dealing with that again. We had a solid first battle, made some great reads, but in the end, we just could not overpower Kyogre and Diablo with no other restricted mods. So we're going to cancel out restricted mods. We're making the rules. We're going to lock in our uh, team with uh, the Frogator squad and get rocking out from here. So let's see who this guy's going to bring in here and let's see wh who we're going up against. And this guy has a pretty strong team. He's got Lucario, he has Infernape for Fake Out, Tailwind Control, and Speed Control with Latios and Crobat, and then he has two great physical attackers, which makes me want to bring, or uh, makes me realize that I don't have an Intimidate Bomb. He has Kyogre, or not Kyogre, uh, Gyarados and Garchomp. Okay, I'm kind of with this. How should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Latios is such a great lead. Super effective up against a bunch. I do think that. So we're going to go with Latios alongside with, uh, for Alligator could be solid. For Alligator could be good. I am liking Togekiss here as well. Togekiss is great. I might go Togekiss as a lead and then go for Alligator and then in the back end bring Heatran or Rotom. I think Rotom's going to be a bit better. Let's go Rotom. Let's talk about with Rotom. Let's lock in the squad. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in uh in our second battle because we definitely need a win. Like I said, I want to grab ourselves a win. We're doing it. We're winning these next two battles. No problem. He goes Poison Bat and Jet Dragon. I love the names. I love the names. So we have our Latios out on the field. We could go Tailwind. We could go a Psychic. I think I'm just dropping a beautiful Psychic here. And then rolling out with a Gleam. I'm digging that all day. I could go follow me here, too. I could definitely go follow. Do I follow me or do I Gleam this one? You could go Poison, but I feel like my Latios is faster and I can just take out his uh, Bat. So I'm with that. Unless he goes into a Tailwind on his own. Both of them could use Tailwind, so it's kind of scary. Will he go Cross Poison? Will he go Dragon Pulse? We're kind of hoping he's going Dragon Pulse and we're just going to pull the shot in with the Follow Me. They're going to follow me here. I'm just going to try to take out this bat. He goes for Tailwind. So, so the bat goes for Tailwind. We're hoping that the Dragon Pulse is sliding over this way, right? Dragon Pulse, Draco Meter. Beautiful. That works. That works just fine. Second's going to poke through here. And we're going to drop you, right? Unless this thing's sashed. It's not sashed. Okay, so beautiful turn by us. I could go into another Follow Me and set up a Tailwind now. Which could, be could be great if we could do that. I would not mind it. I would not mind it. Let's see who he goes into from here. Please don't have Lucario. It is Lucario. Steel Wolf. Steel Wolf is coming in hot. Uh, did we just soak up these shots? Set up a Tailwind. We have to set up a Tailwind, right? Hmm. We think he's going to go for the Draco Meteor? I know that the steel move's coming into me. I think we just might have to let our Togekiss go down here, right? I think we just have to let our Togekiss drop. I think we have to let our Togekiss drop and go into the bottom. I think that's just a fine play. We're just hoping that the Latios does outspeed the Togekiss or the, uh, the Lucario. Because if that's the case, then uh, we can pull in this move. Because I cannot not go for a follow on me. Just in case he wants to go into there. And we could have and we could have just went into the deck. That should have been the play. He's going to hard swap. He's going to go into Garchomp. The Garchomp's gonna fly here. That's totally fine. We're gonna set up a Tailwind of our own. And we're gonna get rolling. So follow me, he's gonna come out here. We do not care if our Togus goes down. Hopefully we dodge a move. You never know. Meteor Mash? Yeah, Meteor Mash comes through here. We're dead. We eat! Oh my god, Togus. I love you! I love you, Togi. Tailwind's poking now. Togekiss with the Soko. You gotta love it. Now, I was gonna protect that turn, but I just couldn't... I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But now we go into a Dragon Pulse. Or yeah, Dragon Pulse and then into... Uh, Air Slash. I'm liking Air Slash here. If we could pull it off, but I don't think we outspeed. I could protect now. Which I am going to do. I'm going to protect and start wasting out their Tailwind turns. Garchomp's going to protect. I'm going to protect. That's fine. I think it's just a cancel out of a turn. I think the turn's just canceling all day, right? Protect, baby. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. When it goes extreme speed, we block it. Okay, cool. Uh, We could just follow me the shot. Dragon Pulse can get blocked. We're just gonna keep Dragon Pulse in that slot. We know he outspeed, and he and he only has Garchomp and uh, and Latios in the back end. So I'm just gonna follow me this. Let him go for that extreme speed. Let him do that. Let my Togekiss go down here and just roll up from there, and just go from there. Did I bring Heatran? No, I brought for Alligator and uh, and Rotom Mo. Which I mean, is okay. Heatran would have been great. Would have been definitely good up against Sicario. But we are gonna. There is gonna be a turn where we're gonna have uh, one more tailwind than him, and I think it might be after this one. I think their tailwind ends, and we'll have one more turn left. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it all day. 
Let's see. But Tokus follow me definitely came up clutch for us. Huge, huge. Dodge the Draco meters, all that good stuff. And and the Tokus eating up the meter match was huge as well. So we, we're in this guy's head right now. He's gonna go for another protect and it fails. That's huge. That's huge. He, he knew that he probably had to go for the uh the double protect. That's great for us, because because our Latio is outspeeds. We're gonna get off a big old dragon pulse here. Amazing. Yeah, I'll yeet, send it. Later skater, or is this thing surviving? Nope. Get them all out of here, dude. This is why I love Latios. Hits like an absolute truck alongside with being super, super uh, uh, quick. He's going to go for an extreme speed, or close combat's going to come in there. I mean, that was dumb. That was super dumb. That was stupid to go into close combat. And the reason I say that is because it drops his defense. We were only on 5 HP. He could have hit us with any other move and KO'd us. So, dumb play by him. We can bring in our Feraligator and get rocking out here. For Valigator, their tailwind's gone. Let's get out our boy Shear Force for Alligator. We can start dropping some big, heavy waterfalls. Some heavy waterfalls with this tailwind out on the field. Okay, so Jet Dragon's gonna come out here. I'm gonna go for a waterfall, and I'm gonna go for a, uh, a Dragon Pulse. Even though I do think this thing is going to protect, I just think that's our play all day. I just think this is our play all day long. Go ahead, protect Jet Dragon. Where's that? I, I know he's protected. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that he's protected. Knowing that we outspeed with the tailwind, I'm liking it all day. I'm liking it. He does not protect. Wow. The GG's. Take him out, please. Thank you very much. Later. Yo, Ladio is just doing work. Just doing work. Fraligator's gonna come, gonna come across here. Let's see how much damage this thing can do with him. Fraligator, get him out of here. Do some work, dude. Oh, my. Brings him down to the stat. No problem. No stat boost or nothing. This thing's just hitting like an absolute menace. Stab, sheer force, life orb. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. He goes for his little crunch. We eat that up all day. It's not sad for him. And that's GG's. That is GG's. Bum, 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 bum. And I would rather for Alligator get the final shot off, so I'm just going to tailwind. I'm going to rip in this thing with another waterfall. Let him know that I'm here. That I came to play. He doesn't even cancel battle. He goes for extreme speed. Which kills us. Wow. That did some big damage. That did some big damage, but it's all good. I just want for Alligator to drop another waterfall. And yo, Lucario, get on out of the game. And there it is, guys. Our first win for today's video. We're now sitting one and one. And like I said, I promise you guys a winning record. Let's hop into our third and grab ourselves that winning record. It's time to grab ourselves that winning record that I promised you guys. We're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a really cool team. He's got Gyarados, Venusaur, Jolteon, and Umbreon, two evolutions alongside Infernape and Intimidate Arcanine. They can also snarl and do all that annoying stuff. So how should we go into this one? How should we play it? For Alligator could definitely be good, but I definitely see him potentially leading the Infernape for fake outs. So I'm going to go Latios, or at least two Pokemon that can protect. I'm going to go for Alligator. I'm going to go Latios. I really do like both of them. And then we kind of want Rotom Mo here. I feel like Rotom Mo uh, does it do work. Not really, actually. Now I'm looking at it more and more. Heatran could be solid here. I do like Heatran. I don't mind him. I think he's better than Mo. I think Tokus has to come in here. Tokus is decent and alongside with Heatran. I do like it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves that winning record. Come on, yo. I won it so bad, yo. Most of the time when I promise you guys, I usually prevail. But I don't know. This one's looking tough. This one is looking tough. <laughs> this one's looking tough. Let's see who this person's going to lock in. I think he is going to lead to Infernape. That's exactly why I love the Feraligator and the Latios. Because we post two threats on him. I can either double down into him with a Psychic and a uh, Waterfall. Or I can predict the Protect or a uh, Fake Out on a certain Pokemon. And maybe set up with the other ones, though. Really depends who he, who else he leads or if he even leads Infernape. We shall see. We shall see. But again, I just think Infernape is coming in for that fake out control. Let's see. He's gonna throw out no oh, Venusaur and and Gyarados. Okay, so Intimidate's gonna come out here. Is this gonna affect my affect my Frogator definitely? Uh, could just drop a big old Psychic into into Venusaur here and maybe just Swords Dance setup. I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging the Swords Dance setup here. The Psychic into the Swords Dance. I'm with it. And then I can Tailwind next turn. As long as, as long as, actually, if this thing Dragon Dances, that's okay. I mean, it's kind of scary still because then it can go into an Ice Bank, but it, at the same time, it's not sad. But that'll still be plus one. We'll see. We shall see what this dude does. But I could obviously set up a Tailwind turn one, but at the same time, it's just like, uh, I don't think I should because I have this, uh, I'm posing a huge threat onto the Venus. I'm just posing such a huge threat. And if I can take that out and set up a nice little Swords Dance, we can get rolling here by setting up a Tailwind the next turn because, you know, pretty much everything or nobody really outspeeds a lot of use. Unless he brings out Infernape in the next slot, but then he's probably just going to pick out my Feraligator Swords Dance setting up. 
I do, I do really like our lead here. I do really like our lead. Let's see this part or what this guy's gonna go into. Taking a while to think. Maybe he might swap. He does. Oh, he swaps the gar. Oh, I love that. He swaps the gar. So he's gonna go into here. Burnate maybe. Jolteon comes out of here. Okay. I'm with it all day. Psyche's gonna pop through here. Hopefully this thing's not sash and we get off some huge damage. He is sash. Okay. This thing is sash. What's he going for here? Now that that's a problem here. If he goes into a, a big old grass move. Here. Let's see what this thing's cooking up with. What's he cooking with? Energy ball. Can we eat that? Eat it up, frog. All day, baby. All day. My lord, dude. The day focus sash. On a Venusaur. On a Venusaur definitely does this dirty, but I still think we are. We're sitting fine here. I still think we're sitting fine here. Because in this case, I can go into Heatran or I can go into you. What's going to be better? Heatran here? I'm going to go Tailwind into a double hitting move. Tokus could be solid. We just swapped out the Gyarados, so. I think Tokus should be our play, and we should just save Heatran for the back end here. Wow, dude. Froggator just gets dumped on, man. I don't like that one bit. I don't like it one bit. Okay, uh. So from here, I'm just going to go Tailwind, and I'm just going to drop a Gleam. Little Gleamski. Little Gleamski. Little Gleamski. We need speed here. We definitely need speed. Latios is going to be able to outspeed everything. Actually, is Jolteon fast? I don't think Jolteon is faster than my Latios. That's why Latios is so good. It's just so fancy. It's like a truck. But dude, if that Sash is in there, we're thriving. He's going to end up protecting. I'm totally cool with that turn. It's no problem. We have a double-hitting move flying out here, and Jolteon does outspeed. He's going to Thunder Wave me. Okay. He Thunder Waves me. As long as I can get off this Tailwind, I, I'm, I'm fine. As long as I can get off this Tailwind. Dazzling comes out here. And can we get off this lovely little Tailwind? Give me a crit, too. Is that not a crit? That was not a crit. Tailwind does poke out here. We love it. Okay. So we know that the Jolteon does outspeed us. I could just go into an Air Slash. I could definitely go into an Air Slash. Because Latios will still outspeed that Venus. We just gotta hope that we don't get paralyzed here. The Air Slash could do some big damage. So I'm thinking of doing this, and then just Air Slash. In this case, now we gotta go into Gleam and double down into the uh, Jolteon. A nice, lovely Psychic. So we'll Psychic this. And we'll just Dazzle Gleam across because we know Dazzle Gleam will take out the Venus with no problem. We know it. Tokus goes for the Gleam. We'll say bye bye Venus. Get him out of my face. And we get all... We don't take out. No. No, 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 no. We don't take out Venus with that? We, d we don't take out Venus with that. He's just Sludge Bomb me. Lee cheese, but okay. I'm, I'm fine. But dude, what is this? Dude, what is this? That's just, that's just ugly, dude. That is just ugly. He's probably gonna protect against. He's probably gonna protect. God. Gleam doesn't take it out. Gleam doesn't take it out. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That one hurts. That one hurts, yo. What you mean that didn't take him out? That could have been a huge KO. But Intimidates can come out here on two special attackers. I'm, fi I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And then from here, uh... I'm gonna say we're not gonna be paralyzed here. I'm gonna say we're not gonna be paralyzed here. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna Air Slash across onto you. Try to get a flinch. Get off some big damage with the Air Slash. We love it so much. He's gonna protect the Venusaur. That's fine. With me. That is fine. He's just trying to soak up some damage. We're just gonna go for an Air Slash. Maybe we'll get a flinch here. Flinch and a crit? That'd be lovely. Make up for that last, last stuff. What's up with the no crits, man? We're paralyzed anyway. God dang! Give me a flinch, though. Yes, cool. Wait, is this a Serene Grace? Is this a so Wait a minute. Let me see this tokens. Psychic will definitely take him out. And I know we outspeed him a lot. I mean, Ice Fang can do damage on me if he's, if he's rolling out with it, but I don't know if he is. God dang it. Look at all the HP's getting back. But we're just gonna Psychic up on him again. And let me see his tokens. He's not critting. He is super luck. He is super luck, which is nuts. Super luck and he's scope blinds. Cool. We'll do that. He's just not getting the crits whatsoever. Air Slash coming through again. Give me a crit, dude. I'll take the flinches, but we need some crits. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Ladios use Psychic get connect. Okay, so Venusaur, get on out my game. Finally, we get rid of that, that, that little Venusaur there. So we know, well, we don't know that another Air Slash will take out Gyarados because we need a crit. But I'm banking on the crits, dude. We have a high chance of critting. We can go for the crunch and we drop out the net. Okay, that's fine. I like it. We have Tailwind set up. We have Heatran coming in the back end. I'm just going to go Air Slash, probably Heat Wave. Let's see if we can roll off of there. Because Air Slash should be able to take that out regardless. Yeah, ooh, Tailwind's gone. Ooh. Tailwind's gone. We might just have to protect your Heatran this turn. Let's see who he rocks out into. 
So he is gonna poke out here and he's gonna throw out his final mob, which is going to be Infernape. So fake out's ready to roll. I could double protect, but I think I just protect you. And I think I just air slash you. Air slush. Air slashy slash. A good battle. It's gonna be really close. It's gonna be kind of close for sure. Let's see what he does. Who's he gonna fake out here? Hopefully, he fakes out the heat champ, but I do think he's gonna fake out the toby kiss. I think of like how we can actually get through this. Tokus might be faster than that Garrus, and if it is, that can be that can work wonders. I know Infernape is probably the fastest on the field. Let's see what he does here. That comes out here, put up the shield. He fake it out, fake out the heat champ. Close combat. Oh, we close combat. That's a big block. That's a big, big block. Big block. And Tokus outspeeds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's big plays. Gyarados, get on out my face. Get on out my face. Huge protect coming out from us. Pretty much just want us to match it. Oh, this thing is leech seeded. Come on, man. Come on, man. Leech seed me. Yeah, my face. Okay. So we know this thing's not focus ash because the Venusaur's focus ash. I mean, I didn't put it on any double item, so could be bad for us. We're going for that special defense drop. We're going for the air slash. We trying to rip into this thing. He goes for the close combat here. That's probably gonna take out my heat train. Heat train eats on four. We get a free focus ash. That's lovely. His defense drops. And that should be GG's, right? That should be GG's. Air slash comes through here. Even without a crit, this shouldn't be able to kill. Things lightweight. Get out of here. He double items. Get out. Get out of my face. Dude's rocking double items. Go ahead, heat train. Rock him out of here. This guy has two focus ashes. Get him on out of here. We're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with it. I should have switched items to no double items, but it is what it is. We still clean up that victory and grab ourselves a winning record. Winning records all day in BDSP double battles. There it is for you guys. Two and one for today's video. Definitely probably should have went three and oh, but you know, we went up against a Kai Ogre and a Diago team and we can't really do much up against them. They are fun to verse, but like when you lose them, you're just like, oh, come on, man. Come on, it, it's kind of annoying. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.